What's up guys, Harry here, and welcome to another episode of the Hybrid Showdown. For you guys that don't know how this series works, there'll be some information down in the description, uh, but let's get straight into it. This week we had to build a team around Inform De Jong, Inform Sergio Busquets, and Inform Matri. Uh, I knew this was going to be quite hard because like, obviously none of them link up at all, and uh, pretty obscure, like uh, Error de Vies, and it, I, I knew it was going to be quite tricky, and it was. Uh, but I'm going to show you what I did. I started off in goal, and I went for uh, Stekelenburg. He's a good keeper, 86 diving, 83 reflex. 80 positioning, 80 kicking, uh, very good well rounded stats, and he's six foot six as well. And for only a thousand coins, you cannot say no to that. Uh, my first centre back or the central centre back is a guy called Donk. I'm sure you guys know who he is. He's an absolute monster. He's got 79 pace, 70 defending, and 82 heading. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, at this stage here, well, my controller just died, uh, but I knew I'd already used enough uh, Netherlands players. I didn't want to use more than three players from the same nationality in the same team, uh, so I decided to go for someone different. In my centre back spot, I went for uh, Olmerback. Allback is great, he's got 83 pace, uh, 74 defending and 72 heading, and he is 6 foot tall, he's only 3,700 coins, uh, really cheap in comparison to Donk who costs 36,000 coins, I don't know why there's such a price difference uh, when their stats are so similar, and then uh, left mid we're left with a bit of a dilemma, or I thought we were at least, uh, but it turns out... Uh, this is very lucky. There's actually a Swedish left wing for Ajax. He's called Sana. He's got four star skills as well. He's actually a really, really good player. Four star skills, four star weak foot, 83 pace, 78 dribbling, 60 shooting, and he's only 400 coins. An absolute beast. I really enjoyed using him. And they, he gives uh, the centre back full chemistry, and he gives uh, De Jong near perfect chemistry. Our centre mid here, our centre attacking mid, uh, is going to be Inform Ericsson. So we've included another Inform player. We didn't need to have one, uh, but I decided to throw him in there because I wanted to use him. He's got some nice stats as well. 81 pace, 74 shooting, 79 passing, 85 dribbling, and he's got 4 star skills, 5 star weak foot, and for only 16,000 coins, uh, that's a pretty good price. In our right mid spot, uh, I went for uh, Jesus Navas. I could have gone for any Spanish uh, right mid in the BBVA. I could have gone for Alexis Sanchez as well, because uh, I need the Barcelona link. Basically, I needed Sergio Busquets to get a link from the right mid and the centre back. The centre back I chose was PK. Um, I probably could have gone for Sergio Ramos, but our budget's only around 150k, uh, so I'm not going to throw all of it on him and PK is pretty good as well 62 pace uh, 86 defending and 81 heading and he is 6 foot 4 tall I figured I wouldn't be missing out too much on the pace because I have Donk and Ormond back so I think my defence is pretty solid and that leaves only one player uh, and he's a Denmark striker that's going to link up perfectly with Matri and you know it's going to be it's going to be Bentner everyone loves Bentner absolute beast 72 pace 70 shooting 69 passing 75 dribbling 74 heading and he is 6 foot 4 tall he is the third best player in the world absolute monster uh, I'm joking that's that's just what he said he's not one of the best players in the world he's not a very good player in FIFA either quite uh, annoying to use the only bad thing about this team both these strikers like Matri only has two star uh, skills and uh, Benton only has three star skills so not a very skillful team uh, apart from the centre attacking mid uh, and the right mid and stuff uh, but that's it for like the squad building section I'm now going to pass you over to Fishy FIFA who's going to give his quick review on this side bye right, lads Fishy FIFA and these are my thoughts on Harry's squad so um, he's built a very nice squad, 3-5-2 formation, he's got a couple of 4 star skillers, the left midfielder is 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, he looks like a good player but I have not used him myself, he's got Eriksson in there with 4 star skills and 5 star weak foot, he looks like a very good player, um, Havers Navas has 4 star skills, not sure about Bentner though, he looks like a bad player if I'm totally honest, does not look great, he's only there for chemistry as you can tell with Eriksson and Matri. So I'm um, not too sure about him, the 3 centre backs look solid with Alm, Batch, Donk have decent pace. Then PK is just all around solid. Um, Mr. Kellenberg's a decent goalkeeper, he's like 6 foot 6 or something like that. So um, a very nice squad, but I'm not so sure about Bentner. So thanks for that review there, Fisher FIFA. It was nice to hear your thoughts. Uh, that's about it from me. If you can go and vote in the Facebook link in the description on which team you thought was the best. If you haven't seen Fisher FIFA's team yet, make sure you check out the link at the end of the video or again in the description. And if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. If we get 150 likes, um, I'll probably upload a video later on today. That's it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Yeah.